We had a big fight about the different trailers. That's why, I mean, there were tra the, the, the trailer was supposed to go out on Austin Powers, I think, which was a huge thing. And they did one of these trailers that is just, I mean, complete. I, it makes my skin crawl. It's like, get it ready is, for the wacky, yeah. woke, fun, of fun, of fun of summer. It was like, you know, like, it, was like a, it was a commercial for like, you know, like basketball, like what they did with that, or like a Norm yeah. MacDonald movie, or like these crappy, they call them $10 million crappy summer movies. That's like the official term in Hollywood, $10 million crappy summer movie. And you know, like what, for whatever, you know, you can say what you want about, but we thought our movie was much cooler than that, and we didn't want it to be like, get ready, here it comes for the wackalicious, and we're like, oh. <laughs> so we, we cut our own, we cut our own preview, um, uh, uh, sorry, trailer, um, that was cut to Carmina Barana, and that one kind of went, but the, then another hard part was and then the MPA comes in, in, and the MPA has to rate trailers, and trailers have to be rated G. And in the South Park movie, there's like no rated G jokes. There's none. So you can't do anything. Not, you can't do anything funny. So we cut this Carmina Burana trailer thinking, well, it looked like a real serious movie. It's just real serious and epic and all this stuff. And, and they went back and forth and finally, God, it was just terrible. It was, I went all the way to the head of the studio and just back and forth. And they were just like pulling their hair out, like saying, who says, you know, has no, like basically we were just so contentious and so like, just no, we're not doing it. And they were just like, they were going crazy. So anyway. They, uh, they backed in this trailer, and long story, but anyway, they had 48 hours to finish their trailer, and we had said no, 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 and dicked them so many times that they had gotten down to 48 hours, and they had crews working around the clock for those 48 hours to get this trailer on the front of Austin Powers, wherever it was, but they needed this one tape, this thing called a DLT, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The thing that stores the shots. So the PA's <laughs> walking out with the, with the DLT to go to Paramount to deliver it so they have their 48 hours. And I was like, bring that over here. And I, we, were on the, we were on the shoot for Brian Botano. I stuck it in my trunk in my car, and I drove home. <laughs> <laughs> and so that, that was, was when Friday, So that was Friday night. And then Monday morning, my lawyer calls at, like, literally 7.45 at my house. And he's like, do you have something that belongs? He's like, three <laughs> biggest lawyers from Paramount just called me and said they're going to sue us. And I was like, f*** them. Let them sue us. Because that was our, yeah. me and Trevor were like, sue us right now. Please, f*** you. And we said this to them right to their face. And our lawyer was like, no, you don't understand. You have to give the tape back. You'll go to jail. That's theft. You know? And it, so it got that bad. It got to the point where they were like, we're sending a letter to sue you, basically. The, the, whatever the letter is that like, we're suing you and taking you to court. And Trey and I are like, bring it on. Because yeah. we only had two and a half weeks left.